John Whitten Brown studied architecture and specialised in listed building restoration work, most notably on the restoration of several ruined Scottish castles and tower houses. His work took him all around the Scottish countryside in these long-term projects. Typically, the restoration of a ruinous castle could take five or six years to complete. These trips provided a great opportunity to paint all manner of subjects, from the East Nuke of Fife fishing villages like Pittenweem and Crail, with iconic crow-step gables and narrow winds, to the vast sweeps of moorland, mountain and churning highland skies, sweeping over fields of black-faced sheep and hairy highland coos. Also featuring in his work are the busy back lanes of Glasgow's West End and scenes of Edinburgh's old and new towns. Historic towns and villages such as Inverary, Portree, Portsoy and Cromarty. A delightful port of Stromness in Orkney and the village of Crovey in Sutherland. Here too are the portraits of islands of the Inner Hebrides, like Col and Tyree, the wild and beautiful islands of Skye, Mull and Islay, and dear old treasures like the vital spark moored at Crinan. His style is bright, lively and perspectively challenged. Squinty is an apt description of this highly individual style. His first solo exhibition in 2001 in a well-known gallery in Glasgow's West End almost sold out within the first week. He now exhibits in galleries throughout Scotland and has his work in private collections in the USA, Canada, Germany, Switzerland, Portugal and Japan as well as in the UK. Scenes of sights and wonderful places. Cliffside Highland Farm. A Highland Farm on a cliff edge, part real and part imagined. A patchwork of fields, a row of cottages, sheep, a crow and a reclining coo. Porton Cross Boats At the end of B7048 on the Ayrshire coast is the haunting ruin of Porton Cross Castle and a neat little harbour with some neat little boats. Crovey, a scenic view. On the northeast corner of Scotland, in a spectacular setting, is the former fishing hamlet of Crovey, situated at the foot of a narrow winding road. A row of cottages perched right on the water's edge, squeezed between the waters of Gamry Bay and the steep hillside behind. Lochside Cottages A neat little row of cottages sitting by the water's edge with a clump of sheltering trees behind. A couple of big stones poking out of the water, probably deposited during the Ice Age in Scotland. Winter Blue A still winter night on a highland farm Thank you.